the coolest reviews, the funnest shit, nailing the fuck out of it every damn day of the week. It's Grimm's Toy Show Action Insider Figure Review. I am your host, Ebenezer Middlesdorf. <laughs> Breathe it in, Sandow. Breathe it in. Because today we're going to do an ass-gas review. Because Sandow's going to breathe in the scent of my poo with an Elite Series 22 review. Grim buys his wrestling figures at WrestlingFigures.com. This is the bullshit on the back of the box. And doesn't Sandow look like a perverted flasher about to rip open that robe and expose his hose? Nailed it. You can recreate the action of WWE with the other figures in a set. Except I don't remember Tensai shoving his finger up Kane's asshole. What a waste. This is Sandow out of the cardboard, and I was just thinking about something. You know, if you really wanted to be a dick wagon, you could probably repack this figure pretty easily. You'd pretty much shove any fucking figure under this blue robe you wanted to. I mean, check this out. You're welcome. <laughs> nah, don't do that. Fucking repacks are for losers. If I untie it here, you can see that this is lame as hell because the belt comes off loose. It's not actually secured to the robe. And then he has some toilet paper wrapped around his neck. Ah, oh, I hope he didn't shove this up his ass. Maybe this is supposed to be a towel or something, but it just looks like a couple sheets of uh, toilet paper. Coming soon on a GTS wrestling episode, it's going to be Shitmas versus Sandow in a Wipe My Ass match. Damien Sandow figure comes with two microphones. He's got one in his hand here that he can hold and, you know, it's for talking into. And the other one is under his trunks in his pants because there's no way his dick is that big. And what's with Sandow raiding the Sears lingerie department for wrestling gear? Double double waste. This is his face. He kind of looks like a cockeyed, unibrowed, bearded, purple penis eater. Slick-haired, underweared, perverted, purple penis eater. If you look at the bullshit on the back of his head, you can see he's got this really cool hair going on here. And then you can see his elbow pads, which cover the elbows of disdain. This is his gluteus maximus. Gluteus maximus means butt muscles. It doesn't mean a transformer. If you were to just see this, you might think it was some girl's ass from, like, a bikini magazine or something. And then you would pan out and say, Ah, shit, it's a dude! What the fuck? And now, Team You're Welcome proudly brings to you Wrestling Physics with Sandow and Saturn. Rest assured, the intellectual savior of the unwashed masses will enlighten you to the physics of professional wrestling. Our first lesson will focus on the Thunder Punch, or Thunder Kick. Sometimes you may notice a wrestler may completely miss the punch. Completely miss the punch. However, the opponent will still bump to the mat. This is because the thunder of the fist flying through the air is of such velocity that the thunder of the velocity of the air is enough to take the opponent off of his feet. And on next week's episode, we will explain the phenomenon of when you throw a drop kick and connect but then land on your face, you are fine. But when you throw a drop kick and completely miss your opponent and land on your face, you are hurt. This has been an episode of Wrestling Physics with Sando and Saturn. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for watching, little Grimmies. Don't forget to check out our website, GrimsToyShow.com. Buy all your wrestling figures at WrestlingFigures.com. If you use discount code GRIM at checkout, you'll save 10%. There's a link in the description. And please like this video. Leave a comment and subscribe for Moa. Nailed it.